Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you six beautiful layering combos with some of the newest uh, scents that have come from Bath & Body Works and scents that are specifically going on now that you can get at the SAS. We're already like almost a week in, I think, into the SAS. So I'm pretty sure the prices are already starting to go down. So I'm pretty sure you can get most, if not all, of these for like four dollars and under i actually learned the name of this collection is called the uh fun fair collection but this collection has now gone down i was actually at the mall today for a completely different reason and it was tempting to go into bath and body works and get things but i didn't but i did notice that the stand with this collection they had lowered it down to four dollars i did buy mine at seven dollars which is what the sale started on i don't think i have the receipt i'm pretty sure i threw it away but if you guys have the receipt and you bought these at the full seven dollars they have lowered them down to four dollars and they do do uh price changes in case you guys really wanted to like go and price adjust your uh scents that's just something to keep in mind but i was really adamant to basically include all the scents that you can get like right right now for very very inexpensive paired up with some amazing perfumes a couple of these actually only one of these has two layering combos just because well, you'll see. I've been testing all these combos out pretty much as soon as I bought some of these new scents. Some of them I already had for a bit, so I've been playing around for a little bit more, but I have done my full testing on all these things, and I can for sure say that these combos are a match made in heaven. Like, some of these are, like, my go-tos now, and oh, I'm, I can't wait to show you guys. So with all that being said, before we get into this video, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on, and let's get started. Okay, the first combo I have for you, let's start off with the Funfair collection, just because I'm so excited about this collection. Like, I am I have fallen in love with it. I know in my SAS haul that I did recently, I already told you guys how much I loved these scents or the couple that I picked up. But this one, I have fallen in love with this one even more. Like, I have been wearing this nonstop. Like, I get out of the shower and my the first thing that comes to mind is this. Like, this is all... I have been wanting to wear I have already made like a tiny little dent into it even though I've barely had this for that long I know I said in my Bath & Body Works haul that I'm not gonna get doubles but because of how much I'm finding that I'm going towards this scent this is all I want to wear so I actually might go back and get a couple more especially now that they're only four dollars I might go back in fact I'm pretty sure I will go back and get more this is orange vanilla twist and I feel like that name would make you think that this was a lot more orangey yeah it still has the vanilla in the name but it kind of seems like it would be like equally orange and equal vanilla no you pretty much get like five seconds and that's even pushing it with that orange where it starts off so like bright and zesty and then more than anything this just becomes like a creamy creamy vanilla and I know that the packaging kind of seems like really fun and kind of juvenile but I actually think that there's something really sexy and so sweet and it almost has like this perfuminess to it it's not your typical gourmand scent there's something to it I can't explain they're not dupes but I feel like it is in the same family as this perfume, which is why I wanted to pair it with this. Just to bring out that sexy, perfumey touch that this kind of has. When I add this perfume on top, it creates like the perfect sexy vanilla. If you like the scent of vanilla, this needs to be like your go-to combo. This is going to be the only body spray in this video that I'm going to actually show uh, two perfumes that you can layer with this depending on which direction you want to take this. The first one is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. This is one of my all-time favorite perfumes. One of the most complimented perfumes ever i'm pretty sure everyone and their mothers loves this perfume there's something that anybody can love in here it is more so on the sweeter side but not in like a sugary type of way this is so so incredibly sexy there is florals in here but there is kind of a lot of sweetness to it it's almost kind of in the same realm as flower bomb victor and Ralph's flower bomb because that is also a florally scent but the florals come across really really sweet and girly and that's what this one is as well this perfume basically like brings out that little bit of like this perfumey touch that kind of comes across here especially in the dry down but mixed with that creamy vanilla it creates such a beautiful combo. Once this has fully dried, I don't even really detect any sort of hint of orange in it. So that's why it goes well with this. Because I don't know if I would necessarily mix these two together if this one 
was super citrusy. This is such an incredible combination. Like, pair these two together. If you have the two together, pair them and let me know what you think. This is actually the combo that I'm wearing right now. I cannot seem to put this body mist down. Oh, and by the way, I didn't say the uh, notes in this. This is Juicy Orange Summer Sherbet. I still don't know how to say that if you're here for my uh, previous video. And then Vanilla Creme. And that Vanilla Creme is basically like all I can smell in this. And yeah, it's like a delicious, almost like a vanilla ice cream. That's kind of what it, it smells like. So that's the first combo. In case you're like a sweet lover, you want to enhance that vanilla. That's what you want out of this fragrance. You just want to make it a little bit more sexy and perfumey. Add uh, Valentino Donna Born in Roma. But the second perfume combination, this perfume combo is if you want to take this in the opposite direction, which is if you want to bring out that orange, because like I said, once this dries down, the orange completely disappears and you just get like this creamy vanilla. But if you really, really want to get that citrus aspect and you really want to enhance that kind of like orange vanilla cream soda type of scent, then you add this perfume right here. I feel like they even go together just like color-wise. This is I Love Love by Moschino. Now, this is kind of a known dupe to uh, Don't Shake Up on a Light Blue. I actually prefer this. This one's like a little bit more zesty. And just overall better. There's something so mouth-watering in here because there's just so many like juicy... Uh, oranges and lemons just all the zest mixed with orange vanilla twist not only does this fragrance enhance that um, orangey vibe that this one has that really disappears in it you're basically bringing it back by adding this but also you get the combo with the vanilla so then you basically get like an equal uh, vanilla and orange mixture if you want to add back that orange add i love love by moschino either this or light blue whichever one you have it'll basically give off the same type of vibe so yeah that is orange vanilla twist but this is definitely not a scent to sleep on in this the next scent in the fun fair collection of course is bubblegum pop honestly i love the packaging of this something about the color combination with like the blues and the light purples and this hot pink even the juice is like this light pink color the scent of it basically smells exactly like bubblegum but it's kind of more wearable than just wearing straight up like a bubblegum scent on you there's kind of like this um zestiness in here that makes it a little bit more wearable this is gumball sugar candied fruits and citrus burst so you really get that citrus burst um, coming into the dry down like that bubblegummy sugary bubblegum sort of very juvenile scent really comes through when you first spray this out but then it dies down when you get that uh, citrus burst but the perfume that I've paired up with this scent this is a perfume that I have never talked about on my channel because I recently picked this up and you guys are gonna see a whole haul video where I will mention the scent a uh, celebrity haul because this is a celebrity perfume and that is Paris Hilton Eris. The whole reason why I got this perfume is because all the reviews on this perfume, if you go on Fragrantica, if you watch YouTube videos featuring this, they all say that this smells like bubblegum. I purchased this perfume before I even knew about this scent, and when I saw this scent, before I even purchased it, I knew. I was like, those two are going to be a match made in heaven, and they are. Eris smells exactly like bubblegum also. This one's a little bit more fresh and a little bit more airy. It's not like as pronounced as the bubblegum scent that's in here. And in the notes of this, you're not gonna find an actual bubblegum scent, but I think what's giving it that bubblegum type of scent is just the mixture of the white florals that are in here. And I was actually doing a little bit of research because through my time of doing re research on notes about perfume and getting to know notes and how they smell like in perfumes, I have come to find out that the scent of tuberose is a floral that can sometimes, it can kind of go in two ways. It can either come off as like very florally or it can go really, really sweet and it can almost give off like this grapey and bubblegum type of scent. So when I smelled this perfume, I was expecting to see tuberose in the notes because I knew that there wasn't an actual bubblegum note in it. 
And when I looked at the notes, I was like, there's no tuberose. So what is giving off the bubblegum scent? And once I was doing a little bit more research on it, I came to find out that tiare flower actually somewhat resembles the scent of tuberose. So then I kind of made the connection that I think that kind of bubblegummy feel is coming from the tiare flower mixed with a little bit of that jasmine scent, maybe even the violet leaf giving off a little bit of like this powdery uh, bubblegum type of scent. So that is kind of how I came to realize why this smells like how it smells like without it actually having a bubblegum note. This also has a lot of really beautiful fruits in it. Like you get passion fruit, peach, uh, orange, and you also get a note of champagne. So this does come off a little bit like effervescent, but the mixture with bubblegum pop is so amazing. This one is not as fresh, it's a little bit more sweet than this one, but you will basically enhance like the bubblegum scent in both by pairing these together. And you're basically gonna smell like walking bubblegum, but in like a perfumey type of way. So yeah, I love that combination together. It's such a fun and pretty combination that just smells really nice. The next combo that I have is for Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. This is not a scent that came out in the SAS. It came out a little bit before SAS, but it is selling now in the SAS, I'm pretty sure. And this is actually, if you don't know, a repackage for a very famous uh, Bath & Body Works scent, which is Bath & Body Works Confetti Cake Pop. So when I saw that they had um, repackaged it and came out with it again. I was so excited because I first found out about Confetti Cake Pop when I first got into Bath & Body Works and I was starting to just build up my collection and that was a scent that I wanted so bad but I wasn't into Bath & Body Works when the scent had initially come out. I kind of got into Bath & Body Works a little bit later and by that time it was all gone and because it was such a sought after scent and people absolutely loved it, people were selling it for like hundreds of dollars on Mercari, it was literally insane. And so when I saw that they came out with the repackage of it, of course I bought like three. This has fragrance notes of creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. This is like a true, true, true gourmand scent. There's nothing really perfumey about this. This is literally like, you wanna smell like cookie dough? You wanna smell like a, a confetti cake pop? That's, that's exactly what this scent is. It's so sugary sweet, literally smells like sweet cookie dough like you're baking it is just so edible and gourmand i hate the packaging i don't know why they decided to go in this route i don't know why it's red it doesn't match the scent at all like it just doesn't match the vibe but whatever this was a tricky scent to come up with a combination for because i found that when i was trying to pair this up with actual perfumes like really really perfumey scents scents that were complex even kind of more simple perfumes it just wouldn't match up. And a lot of the perfumes that I was pairing it with had patchouli, like a note of patchouli in them. And of course I was mixing it with equally as like gourmand perfumes or very sweet perfumes just to kind of give off the same vibe as the body spray. But I found that it just wasn't working. I think it's because this is a really strong scent to begin with. It's a little bit more complex and it's just, it's a strong scent. It's strong, it projects a lot. And I found that when I was mixing it with equally as strong perfumey scents, it would almost turn bad. Like they were just not mixing right. So I decided to go the simple route and I mixed it with a perfume that is basically as simple as it's going to get. This is a single note perfume and that is Vani by Soli Notes. This was basically like almost the only perfume in my entire collection that I mixed this up with that was not giving me like that rotten like just too too much sweet um type of scent which is a little ironic because this is like straight up vanilla obviously it's really sweet but because this is so basic and it's literally a single note of vanilla it really really goes together because it's almost like the same scent as this so it really really enhances that vanilla aspect that's in here this one has vanilla bean in it to begin with but this one just adds another level of creaminess to it so this is creamy cake frosting rainbow sprinkles and vanilla bean so this combo is for like the ultimate ultimate gourmand sweet vanilla lovers like you literally want to smell like walking cookie dough that is what this Oh my god, I almost dropped it. That is what this combination is for. The next scent, I did see this in the SAS. This came out like 
a little bit ago. I think came out in the springtime. We're still in spring right now, technically. In my mind, I'm like, we're already in summer. But no, we are not. Summer officially begins in July and we're not there yet. So I need to like... I need to calm down. This is Peach Prosecco Macaroon. I love this scent. This is exactly what it sounds like. This literally smells like a peach macaroon. I don't really get any of that Prosecco element in here. I'm not really getting any sort of like fizziness or a boozy type of vibe in here at all. There's peach Prosecco in here, vanilla cream and macaroon cookie. So I guess the peach that's in here is not an actual peach. It's peach Prosecco. But to me, it smells really like, like a realistic peach. And then it kind of just dries down to more of that vanilla creamy element. A bit of that cookie also comes in. But I will say, although this does have vanilla cream and macaroon cookie, it's not that gourmand. Like, I think that peach is really strong in here. Even throughout the dry down, you can pretty much always smell it. So the scent that I decided to pair this up with is Hugo Boss The Scent. That's literally what it's called. Not to be confused with Hugo Boss Private Accord. That's a completely different scent, which is actually what I was trying to get when I bought this, but I accidentally got this. Like I asked the lady, I was like, I'm looking for this perfume and she gave me this. And of course, me being dumb, I didn't even check the package. I was like, okay, yeah, and I pay for it and I leave and I'm like, oh, I bought the wrong perfume. And by that time it was too late, I couldn't return it, but kind of became a little bit of a happy accident because I really love this scent. I have no idea what the Private Accord smells like. I hear that that's a really good scent also, like really, really chocolatey. This one does have cacao in it, but more than anything in here, I get a peach. I get such a nice perfumey peach. It is so good. The only downside, which I'm so sad about in this perfume is just the fact that it does not last. It is a very, very, very poor performing perfume, but I have found that when I mix these together and I go ham, like I go ham when I spray these two both because both of them are a little bit on like the softer side. They don't really project. So I really have to go in on spraying both of these. But when I do that, I can get like a decent amount of wear time, especially with my little tricks that I do to extend the life of a perfume that doesn't perform as well. I really can get these to last like for as long as I want them to last. But the combo is so good because that peach element here is so, so prominent. So it really enhances the peach that is in here. And then you also get a little bit of that like um, sweet vanilla creamy factor in here. So it just kind of like balances out that really, really fresh peach that's in here because you don't really get much um, I don't want to say sweetness because peaches are, are sweet to begin with, but you don't really get much of like a vanilla aspect in here. So that's why this one is like crucial in bringing in a little bit of that like creamy element and it just, it is such a mouth-watering combo. If you love the scent of peach, this combo is like a must. This next scent might be a little bit predictable because these two are basically dupes of one another and I mentioned it in my SAS haul, but this is sunset glow this was a scent that a lot of people loved and they took it away and they brought it back in this sas so if you were a fan of sunset glow get it now because i'm not really sure when they're gonna come out with this scent again and this is a really really nice scent if you like this type of like scent profile which i feel like a lot of people do this is the same type of scent that is in the scent that's in like the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, which is a very, very famous product you see all over TikTok and Instagram. Very, very famous amongst everyone, not just people in like the hygiene and fragrance community. So because that scent developed such a huge fan base, then they came out with the Cherosa 62 body spray and then they came out with the perfume, which is what I'm pairing up with Sunset Glow. This is the Sol Cherosa 62 Eau de Parfum same scent that is in all those products that I just said. Oh, smells like summer. I'm pretty sure everyone has at least smelled what this scent smells like or the Boom Boom Cream or Cherosa 62, but it basically smells like what Sunset Glow smells like. So obviously the two paired together is delicious, but this one, although they're very similar, especially in the dry down, this one offers a little bit more, like it has a little bit more notes in it which are fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer. And that's one thing that you get in here that you don't get in here. There's no like cherry element at all in here. So I feel like that cherry that's in here is so, so delicious. And you can basically smell it 
even through the dry down. It almost smells like this, but if this were to have some sort of like cherry seltzer like element into it. And I just feel like paired together, this one also has like this caramelized vanilla and this one has caramel and vanilla in it. So yeah, they just go together so well. Like, if you're going on vacation this summer, bring these two. You are going to smell like the hottest person on wherever you are. And then my last combination, I'm going to feature Cozy Evening, the brand new scent that came out in the SAS. This came out alongside two other scents and I still don't know what this collection is called. As I said in my SAS haul, it's kind of like they have three fragrances that are for a specific time of day. Like there's like a morning one, there's like a noon one, I think, or something. And then there's this one. This is Cozy Evening. This is like the nighttime version of all of those, which is weird because I don't really consider this very nighttime-y. I said in my SAS haul also that this reminds me a lot of Paris Amour. Just if Paris Amour was a little bit more enhanced and just a little bit stronger and a little bit like I guess muskier. This features fragrance notes of lavender blooms, fresh freesia, and cozy musk. I almost don't agree with the scent notes that are in here because I feel like the scent notes that are in here may make you think that this is going to be more of like a musky and sometimes lavender can also come off a little like masculine sometimes. A lot of Bath & Body Works scents that have featured lavender in them kind of really come across as very masculine. This one doesn't and I actually find this really sweet which is weird because I don't see any sweet notes and there's kind of almost like this green element. It kind of smells like you were like camping or something and it's like evening time and the sun setting. That's what this kind of gives me a vibe to and it's definitely a very chill scent. I decided to pair this up with a scent that kind of gives me the same vibe which is Escada Magnetism. So this is another scent. First of all, this one has a lot of notes in it, like a crap ton of notes. And it's not that they smell similar, but it's almost like they do the same thing. Like there's this sweetness in here, but it also has like that weird musky kind of like green element that smells very much like like evening time, like sunset. That's what this also smells like. So I feel like the two of these, even though it's not like they're the same type of scent, like they're not dupes, they give off the same vibe, if that makes sense. So when you pair these two together, it really creates a really, really nice combination that's very, very calming. Almost like a signature type of combo that you could easily wear like every day. Very like recognizable and like striking, but without being like too much and too in your face, they're both not like, crazy projecting like strong scents you're not gonna like fill up a room but you're gonna be recognized this one has a lot of notes like i said a lot of green notes in here but you also get like vanilla and caramel in it you get a ton of berries a ton of fruits you literally get like the weirdest combination of notes imaginable but they somehow just really work in here and it creates a really sexy fragrance so pair these two together and let me know what you guys think so that is it for this fragrance layering combination video i hope you guys liked this video i hope you liked these uh layering combos i would love to get your feedback on this video so if you guys try out any of these combinations please let me know in the comments if you tried them and how it went for you but that is it for me today please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.